important because it teaches people how to interact with other Christians and they really get to learn about God and people that don't know God or haven't gotten to experience them really get a chance here. It creates an atmosphere for people without phones and without distractions to focus on God and what He's doing in their lives. It's a place where you can go and just spend time with God, just be yourself. The small groups are my favorite part of camp because you're talking about God with a bunch of people and you can trust them. A group of people that we can talk to and that we can trust. And what happens in small groups stays in small groups. You get to meet all these new people that have these amazing stories that you get to just listen to. Find out how God works in their lives and not just in yours, but He works in so many different ways that you couldn't even imagine. I like the worship and just being able to spend time with God. It just kind of pushes you into the uh, feel. Because it gets like really intense and awesome. and You can just like feel the presence of God. God's been teaching me to be more humble. Uh, I used to be all about myself. Not to worry and to stop being so afraid of others, to go out there and do something or go with other people. I don't have to do things to please him. I just have to let go, give it up to him, and let him work in his ways. It's not about just serving him, it's about him doing things through you for him. God has been just helping me through. Being able to have hope and being able to have forgiveness in my life. I'm the kind of person that when I'm hurting, I want to fix myself. And so I've been learning that through those times, just to trust God and know that He's carrying me and that He's there every step of the way. He has taught me that I should work on not having as much pride and work on my humility. He's sort of been talking to me about being more humble and selfless. I have to change something that I'm not willing to change to be changed. I can't do anything on my own. And if I don't trust him, then it's pointless. In the midst of like our crazy life and everything, it's a time for us to just kind of um, come together and listen to God. And um, it's just a really great time to enjoy other Christians' company, and it's really uplifting. Pretty much like a hospital for people who are broken and don't know God or anything. It helps them get revived again and just know that he's there for them. Camp just kind of cuts away um, all the distractions, trying to learn more about him and having a really great experience with him while you're here. One of the things he's been teaching me is that I can talk to him outside of singing and worship. My voice is pretty much gone because that's really the way that I love to talk to him, but I really need to learn to, how to pray with him more. Even like the smallest things you do can have a really big impact on other people. It can be life-changing for someone else. When you pray a lot, asking him for one thing, um, he, he might say no, and sometimes the best answer that he can give you is no. God has been teaching me that rules and boundaries are there for a reason, and it's not always to break them. Camp is important because it's a week that you can get away from everything. You just uh, focus on yourself before you go back to Lubbock. You don't have to go somewhere special just to hear him. Just listen for him. Take time in your week to stop and just listen to him talk to you. It's a two-way relationship. I shouldn't just expect him to do all the work, that I should like dive in the word more. And if you want him to be like important in your life, you have to make him a priority. Even when I get out of this canyon, just to listen to him and make time for him even in my day-to-day -day life. Camp's important because it's one of the very few weeks completely dedicated to your growth with God. 